hi everybody welcome back this is probably going to be a little quick video today because i want to introduce my pan those eyeshadow palettes for the year so probably just a quick little one now last year at the very start of 2023 i was thinking about what i wanted to do in terms of project pan challenges the type of makeup that i wanted to focus on and i was looking at my eyeshadow collection in total i had about 108 eyeshadow pans i think across my eyeshadow palettes duos singles and I only had pan in one and I thought to myself this is really bad I have a lot of eyeshadows but I haven't used them to the extent where I've got pan in a lot of the palettes so my focus last year was to hit pan in as many different shades across as many of my different eyeshadow palettes and singles as I possibly could and throughout the year I did some little declutters I scraped out some shades and palettes that I knew that I wasn't going to use and I hit pan in quite a few shades so I finished off the year with pan in 14 shades and I had a pan percentage of 41.18% so much better than just below 1% I think up to nearly half of my eyeshadow collection having pan in so that was really really successful and that has kind of inspired me to completely pan a couple of eyeshadow palettes this year and I did speak about this in a previous video a couple of months ago about what I wanted to do what you guys gave me some advice as well so that has really helped to kind of like steer me in the right direction so I just want to talk briefly about the eyeshadow palettes that I want to completely use up this year so I have three eyeshadow palettes in total. One that I probably won't end up using much at all this year is my Vive Essentials palette. It's my favourite palette. It's just a really great warm neutral eyeshadow palette. Lovely selection of some everyday wearable browns and oranges. I don't touch these two down here so I've just got these eight shades in this palette that I love to use. So this one isn't going to get much use this year because the other two palettes in my collection I want to completely use up. The first one is my Revolution Reloaded Hypnotic Palette. I bought this 2022, autumn 2022, around about December, maybe, I think. And it's only got a year shelf life, so it is technically out of date. This is a dupe for ABH Sultry. I have scraped out most of the shades in here, and I'm left with the shades that I like, which, surprise, surprise, are warm browns. <laughs> I'm very predictable when it comes to the type of eyeshadows that I like to wear and that is another reason why I want to use up the two palettes I'm going to talk about because I don't need eyeshadow palettes. I know what I like. It's very predictable, like I say. It is a collection of warm, soft browns, neutrals, everyday, easy shades to wear. I don't go very bright and bold and colourful and extravagant with my eyeshadow. I just like to keep things fairly simple so I don't need lots of palettes especially when the shades in the palettes are very very similar so I really want to whittle down my eyeshadow collection even more so it just contains the few essential shades that I need to wear so this is the first palette that I want to completely pan and you guys said why not focus on this one first I'm not going to do that I'm just going to focus on both of them at the same time because in December I wore these three shimmery shades a lot and they've not really gone down much at all so I think the shimmery shades in this palette are going to be a little bit more harder to pan than the matte ones. I've already got pan in the matte ivory and then the where are you the matte brown up here trying to pan the dark brown in the corner. So what I've decided to focus on with this palette I will use all of the palette consistently hopefully throughout the whole year but the two shades that I want to completely use up first is this matte ivory one I've got a really big pan going on in that and I think I can use that up in the next couple of weeks not couple of weeks my goodness I'd love it if I could use it up in the next couple of weeks couple of months this I can wear regardless of the type of makeup look I'm going for if I'm just going for a bit of mascara I will use some of this to just neutralize the my eyes and then I'll use this as a base for days like today where I've gone a little bit more colourful on the eyes. So hopefully I can get through this one fairly quickly. And then I also want to completely use up this one, which is a warm matte brown. So this is a great crease shade. And this one is another one that I can wear regardless of the eye look I'm going for. I can put a little bit of this in the crease with that really simple eye look with just a coat of mascara or I can again do what I've done today and build up a little bit more warmth in the crease line so in this palette those two are my focus shades those two I want to get used up first but like I say I will be dipping into the remaining four shades in this palette because I want to get all of them used up 
I'll be honest, I think I'm going to struggle with the dark brown because I tend to only use this as an eyeliner and then I do have a dark brown in the other palette that I'm going to talk about, which is ABH Modern Renaissance. There are nine Modern Renaissance shades in this palette and five Norvina shades, so I've kind of created my ideal, very warm, brown, neutral eyeshadow palette. I said I'm predictable when it comes to eyeshadows. In this palette, I do have already seven pans. I've got pans in these two, these two, these two, and this one up here. I'm close to hitting pan in this shimmery gold one here, and then the others are fairly flat, so they will take a little bit of time to hit pan on. But I want to get this one completely used up because this is also out of date. And like I say, I don't need loads of eyeshadows within my collection. But I have heard that ABH palettes are really quite easy to completely use up. So I'm hoping to make really good progress on this this year. Again, I don't think I'm going to be able to completely use up every single shade in this palette. The shade that I'm going to struggle with again is going to be the dark brown because I use it as an eyeliner. I might struggle with this orange one as well. I have put some of it on my eyes today because it goes quite nicely with the top. I might try and use that one as a blusher perhaps. I'll have to see how stubborn it is. This one, yes, that one, this one here, I have used as a bit of a powder contour and that one seems to be working all right. So it's just trying to find multiple ways of using these eyeshadows that's going to help me to get through them that bit quicker. And then just try to use as many of them as possible when I do my eyeshadow. There are going to be some really easy shades in this palette to use up though, so once I've completely used up the matte ivory in the previous palette, I can then work on this one, and then this one, and then once I've used up the matte brown as my crease shade, I've got one, two, three, four eyeshadows in there that I can use. These three shimmery ones here I can use all over the lid for a very like soft romantic look, or in the inner corner of my eye, under my brow bone, maybe as a highlighter as well and then I've got a couple of like little accent colours so this really warm orange here and then this darker orange at the top. So when I spoke about what I intended to do this year in one of last year's videos you guys said to focus on the revolution one get that one used up first because there are six shades in there but I think I just want to dip into both of these consistently throughout the year and just see how the progress goes on both of them rather than limit myself to just the colours in this palette. If I can kind of combine the two as well that would be great so I'm just going to try and work on both of them at the same time. And then when it gets to the end of the year whatever eyeshadow I have left over in both of these palettes I'm just going to throw away because they are out of date so I don't want to pass them on to somebody else and also I've kind of had my use out of them. I do have a couple of eyeshadows in my project pan that I want to use up as well so it's balancing those two shades with these colours in here but because I have decluttered a lot of eyeshadows throughout the, the past year those two eyeshadows in my project pan are kind of like shimmery brown khaki shades so they will go really quite well with the shades in both of these palettes so I'm hoping that's not going to hinder any of the progress for both my project pan and this challenge. And I'm excited to see how much progress I can make in this pan, these eyeshadow palettes this year because I, I was really quite pleasantly surprised with the progress that I made hitting pan in my collection last year. So I'm hoping that I can make some really good progress in using up most, if not all, <laughs> of both of these eyeshadow colours. So like with my project pan, I will be putting up a monthly update video to show you the progress. I will show you some pictures as to how these are going as well. I have taken photos at the very start of the month, so we can kind of compare the monthly progress to the beginning of the year photo. So if you've completely used up an eyeshadow palette, please do let me know any sort of tips or tricks that you might have, anything that might help me get a little bit more progress in this challenge. But thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again very soon for my next one. Bye.